G'day. In today's video, I've got an Acer Nitro V15, looking like this. We have the model number N23Q22, manufactured, or we also have the model number ANV15-5150-N9. And what am I doing in this one? I'm opening it up to add a NVMe drive in there. I'm expecting to find two available slots in this machine and I should be able to add one, then after that go into Windows and format it, and then it'll be a usable drive within the computer. So right now I'm just taking out these screws using a fairly standard Phillips head screw. With this you should be able to, or if, with this I'll let you know if any of the screws are different in size. Right now they're all looking the same, and usually to cut costs it makes sense to have the same screws. So, so far these front ones are the same as the back ones, which are the same as the side ones. So fancy that, they are the same. Sometimes I see the front row being smaller and thinner plastic to be smaller in size. In this instance, that's not the case. Now I want to use this a small little plastic pry tool. You might be able to use something like a bank card. I just want to pry up one edge to begin with, and then that will get me going. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get started. Not quite there. In and up, there we go. go and it's popping all the way around. There we go and we're in. Being this is relatively new there's probably not much need for dusting but it will give it a quick dust blow. As you can see up here we do have a bit of dust starting. That can't hurt it. We do also have a single slot of RAM over here, one single slot being used out of the two which means we are leaving the performance on the table. Basically if you have both these dims filled, both the slots filled with the same capacity RAM same frequency, you get dual channel performance. And with dual channel performance, I find it may improve a game from anywhere from about five to 10% in the frame rate side of things, even with the same amount of RAM. Let's say this is a single eight, 16. If you had two eights, that would perform better than the single 16. I see the NVMe slot down here. I'll add that in there in just a second. I'm just gonna give this a quick blowout. Back again. And while we're here, I wanna pop touch some metal so I don't zap it, pop this out, have a look. Right now they've covered over the marking so I'm not really want to peel up that sticker to find out. But to add an extra stick of RAM, this little notch here will correspond with the notches here. So you do have, it will only fit one way. Kind of go in on about a 35 degree angle and pull down and that should latch in. So if I push it in here, you see the gold disappear. Once the gold disappears, you should just be able to push straight down and that's your RAM installed. Nothing further needs to be done there. You don't have to set it up or configure it. Looking down here, we already have a NVMe screw, which is very nice of them. If you do have a smaller NVMe drive, you can move this to the corresponding location, which is all pretty straightforward. I'm just using a Crucial P3. It's a PCIe 3.0 NVMe. Still has a decent enough read speed to it. Um, it's not lightning fast, but it's also not super expensive. There's no point having a one terabyte SSD in here that costs half the laptop. There we go, with the Nitro series. They're usually a budget series. Now I've just kind of slid that in. There is a little notch here, corresponds with over here. This is gonna get added in as D drive. Yeah, that slots in. Push down, put that screw in. That's now physically installed. After the fact, you'll either have to clone Windows from one to the other, or in this instance, I'm just putting this in, going into disk management on Windows, and from there formatting it, and that will be usable. Not much, too much can be upgraded as well. I see a replaceable Wi-Fi card over here. We have a MediaTek MT7921. Not too sure, what, not too familiar with that version. And with a dust blowout, also if you damage a charging port, you will be sad, it is soldered to the main board. That would have to come out and be replaced. But from here, the battery did try to escape on me before, but it is kind of sitting there. Yeah, it does just kind of sit there. I would say that the plastic cover here surrounds it and stops it from sliding, just like that. After I've done this, we're good to put this on and do those screws up. 
before installing anything on here, do make sure that you have switched off the machine. There is some risk of potentially frying something. Most of the time the machine switched off, you should be okay. As long as you're not in sleep or in hibernation. Windows will be very angry turning back on. If you do a change of memory or change or add storage while it's off in sleep mode. And all these screws are the same size. Apart from that little bit of dust in there, there's really not much more that needs to be done. Right there. And now we've got the four across the front. And we're all good and upgraded. I hope this helps with your Acer Nitro V15. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.